We're making another mediator video to try to help explain a concept. It can be kind of hairy at times. There's no question about it. So a mediator in multiple regression, we're going to show you how to do this in SPSS. So the overall theory about a mediator in a multiple regression model is if you have a predictor, more than one predictor, which is an IV, you have to decide, is one of them acting as a mediator? In other words, is one of these predictors controlling the significance of the model? So I think the easiest way is going to be able to show you just real quick what we're going to do here. So is one of these predictors, we got IQ scores and study hours as the predictors. We're trying to predict their final exam scores. Okay, so is it, does IQ matter? Or study hours matter, or do they both matter, or neither matter, that kind of thing. So here's the typical model that you see in most books. So with this one, study hours would be considered a mediator. This has always kind of confused me, because I was always told that if, if the mediator was not in the model, then you would, have not, you would not have a significant regression between your other predictor, IQ scores and exam scores. That's not 100% true using SPSS, everybody's best friend. So we got our predictors, IQ scores, and study hours. Our DV, our outcome, is exam scores. So in order for us to have a mediator, the correlation between the first predictor and the DV has to be significant. Okay, so the first thing you do is you run a multiple regression model strictly with one IV and one DV. That's called a simple regression. So we're going to go ahead and do that now. Hold on. Here's the data sheet in SPSS. They're all scaled measures. You could do ordinal, I guess. No, but use scale. Okay, so we got plenty. We got like 200 in a sample size. So we're going to go to analyze. Regression, linear. Our DV is our exam scores. And we're just going to check IQ first. Okay, that's the only one we're going to do first. Let's see what kind of statistics we need. And, well, we should probably click these just by habit. Don't need R squared change. Durbin Watson, we should check. <coughs> Plots, I'm not going to do that now. Okay, I'm not going to look for outliers either. Again, I'm just going to stick to the mediator to keep this as short as possible. So what we got here is a simple regression. One IV, one DV. That has to be significant. Okay, so let's look at our box. There's the regression box. So there's the means. There's the correlations. And our R squared is 0.441, which is pretty darn big. We have a significant ANOVA. So that means we do have a significant regression between our IQ scores and our exam scores. And the last thing we're going to look at is our beta weight. Okay, so the beta weight is pretty big. And it is significant. Let me scoot that over so you can see that significant part. Get over there, you. Okay, so the... The beta weight between IQ scores and exam scores is significant and large. So we got the first step out of the way. So we do have a significant beta weight between the predictor and the DV. The ANOVA was significant. So we do have the stage set. So now we're going to add in the second predictor to see if it's a, a mediator or not. So let's go back to the SPSS. We're going to rerun the analysis, regression linear. We're going to add in the weekly study hours. And again, I'm going to skip all this stuff. Click OK. So now, let's take a look. I should have shown you this first. So we added in the suspected mediator. We reran the regression with both predictors now. So... This is how you tell if the second predictor that you put into the model is a mediator or not. So if your significant beta between your original predictor and your DV, ours was IQ scores and exam scores, if your significant beta changes to an insignificant beta and your newbie, right, your suspected mediator, has a significant beta, then your second IV that you put in there, the one with the significant beta, is in fact a mediator, okay? So this model is correct. So let's jump back to the SPSS. So here's the new regression model with both IVs, okay? 
The model summary, your R squared jumped way up to 0.794, which means we should probably be looking for suppressors, but we're not going to go there. So the ANOVA for the second model with two predictors is significant, but now here's the money right here, down on the bottom. Let me see if I can't move this up a little bit for you. So our original predictor of IQ scores was significant, but now it's not. Got it? I'll say that again. The original predictor, IQ scores, is no longer significant. The beta is very small. The significant is not small enough. But now look at the new one that we stuck in there, the weekly study hours. It went sky high. Its beta is huge, right? Negative 0.8, that is huge, and it is significant. Therefore, we have proved that our mediator is weekly study hours. Weekly study hours is the mediator in this project. I hope it helped. MGZ out.